Hello, everybody. We're back for a segment of Move the Way You Want, Just Move. And um, hi, uh, hi, Rob. You got the glasses today. Yeah, I was reading some from, I brought some science to the oh. talk today, so I had my laptop. I had to put my glasses on. <laughs> so, yeah, so guys, this is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about science versus art. And um, that's one of the things that we learned. Uh, we just finished a class, actually. And uh, in this class, our mentor, Michael, Michael Neal, he was talking about how, you know, there's science to everything, and then there's art to everything, right? There's, and, and we tend to mix them up. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that the, the science is like, the science is like universal, right? It's like, it's what is. And then the art is, is personal, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm throwing it at you, Rob. So <laughs> you was like, boom, that was all I got. That was that mic done. drop. Yeah. Your turn, man. Uh, it was actually <laughs> you're, you're the science art dude on this on this <laughs> subject. So again, the subject is uh, weight loss, or actually, it's the quest into transforming <laughs> our body composition. Yeah, uh, yeah, we're we're um, on a journey to change what our bodies look like, and we're not going to play naive to believe that it can all happen overnight. So. The science and the art, I think you explained it beautifully. Um, there are some things as it pertains to fitness or well-being or movement that you can do that you should be aware of to get more out of the movement if you are looking to change your body composition. Other than that, it's just activity for life, right? So, but if you are, again, on a journey to change your body transformation, here's a few things you should be, be, um, be aware of. First is going to be your maximum heart rate, all right? <clears throat> so the science of your maximum heart rate is that, um, well, actually before that, let me, let me go back to before heart rate. There's three areas I'm talking about when I'm talking about changing your body composition that's going to happen. It's going to be cardio, which is the heart. It's going to be strength, which are the muscles. And it's going to be flexibility, which are the joints and the ligaments, Okay. So, and flexibility also has some muscle content included. So those are the three areas of the body I'm talking about. The heart, muscles, ligaments, tendons, all right? So those are all the things I play for science, that science point to. When I'm talking about the art, I'm gonna be talking about how to condition your heart. So which type of cardio conditioning is best? <clears throat> that could be hiking. That could be, you know, a high intensity interval training. That can be long walks, it could be anything, but that's the art part form of it. Resistance training for strength, right? Resistance training, which type did you do? Do you like to go and do the Arnold Schwarzenegger weightlifting for bodybuilding, right? That's a type. But then resistance training and body weight is also a type. I mean, I'm sorry, band resistance training and body weight is also a type. So again, that's an art, whichever fits to you. And stretching, stretching is how we become flexible. All right, stretching also allows us to gain mobility and keep the range of motion of our, our ligaments and our joints. So different types of stretching, whether you're dynamically stretching or you're static stretching or you're doing through yoga or through, like there's different and a whole bunch of different ways for the art. So what I wanna do is just cover a few things for the science so you can pick whatever way you want. Like that's not the part to get hung up on. Which there's way? Plenty, there's plenty of art out there. Yeah, plenty of art out there. Pick any color you want. Paint whatever color rainbow you want. Right? But understand the arc of this rainbow. And the arc of it is understanding your maximum heart rate. So if you were to take the number 220 and subtract your age, that's your maximum heart rate. All right. One, so once you nine. get that number, 220 minus your age, then that number is going to be the maximum, uh, and this is a generic, so please don't, don't hit me with Robert. That actual equation is 2.66, please don't. This is generically speaking here. Um, that's going to be the maximum amount of beats per minute your heart should be. 
Why that is important is because each one of the zones in which we operate based on what we're trying to do matters. So if we are trying to decrease the amount of fat in our body, we want that heart rate, that maximum heart rate, we want our current heart rate doing exercise to be at least 50 to 60% of that. So how we get that number is if you take 220, subtract your age, you get your maximum heart rate. Take your maximum heart rate, multiply that by 0.5 or 0.6, whichever one, 50 or 60, 0.5 or 0.6. It's going to give you another number. That's the number your heart rate has to reach to be in fat loss zone. I use a calculator. I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. yeah, so I'm not doing looking that. at my number. So first of all, I did it in my head and I wind up to the wrong number. So okay. <laughs> this is how bad that is. Okay, so this my times 0.5. So that new number. So I was at 169. So now I'm at 194. I did 0.5 instead of 0.6. And I'm at 194. There's no way you're at 194. There's no it has way. to be. I, I thought it was strange. 220 okay. minus your age first. Yeah, 220 minus my age is 169 times. Times 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. 84. <laughs> okay, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> I know, I was like, if this is the maximum and now at 194, there's All a right. problem. Now go back from 0. 0.5, get your same number and do 0. 0.6. So 84. Yeah, so 169 times 0. 0.6. So now I'm at 101. Okay, so from your heart rate, when you're exercising, if you are on quest to lose fat mass in the body, it needs to be between 84 beats per minute and 101. So whatever movement you're doing, that's the zone your heart rate needs to be in. Okay. Or else, if you're operating at 81, you're not in any zone. If you're operating higher than that, you're doing something else. Okay. You see? So that's the science. That's the part you need to understand. It's between 50 to 60. All right? And what those numbers are, you move. And then you make your movement keep you in there. It's just like a balancing act, a scale, so to speak. All right. So let's go cardio endurance. Let's I'm say we're gonna, trying to. I'm going to just flip my page now. I'm taking notes. Yes. So we're doing cardio endurance. Cardio endurance is going to be 70 to 80%. And this is when you're getting the things like uh, running on a treadmill, what we call steady state exercise, is where your heart rate gets up to a spot and it just begins to to neutralize or not neutralize, but it basically flatlines and just, you know, maintains almost like, like there's this analogy that our bodies are like hybrids. They're V, V tens, V eights, V sixes. And then when we get on the highway, they reduce down to V twos to maximize energy. Well, the body does that as well. So cardio endurance is working out in about 70 to 80% of that you're maintaining that um, aerobic activity and then the last one for me again these are all just mine and the way i teach it um cardio conditioning when we're really trying to change our vo2 which is our volume of oxygen during movement when we're really trying to strengthen our heart we're going to work out at about 80 to 95 percent of that maximum heart rate and when we do it we're going to do it in short intense bursts with little increments of rest so it's almost like high intensity interval training. The scale looks like heart rate up, bring it back down, heart rate up, bring it back down. It's just super fast and quick. And that's when we do things like the art and that would be something like a Tabata, a four minute exercise where you do eight sets within the four minutes, you go as hard as you can for 20 seconds doing jumping jacks or running in place, 20 seconds, hard as you can. And then you rest for 10 seconds and then you run in place for 20 seconds again, hard as you can. You do that till the four minutes is up. And you'll probably sit over there on that bed and go to sleep. The one that's behind you on the, on the thing, right? Why? Because when I do it, I sit over here on the couch and, and, and kind of like have to catch my breath. It's a cardio conditioning exercise because my heart rate really gets into about 87%. I don't get into the 90 that much. Okay, um, so I have questions. Go. 
<clears throat> so now you just gave me three. So, so this is the first part of the science, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is only with cardio conditioning. We're only talking about the so heart. We're only talking like about that. cardio. And I'm actually very interested because I feel like I'm losing breath and I feel like my, I, I think I, I have to work on my cardio. Yeah. So when you say the, the um, fat reduction, mm -hmm. um, like I was trying to not say weight loss. So, <laughs> <laughs> so when, when we're saying the fat reduction, so the 84.5 and 101.4, which is my zone, can you yeah. repeat the numbers? What is that? It's 60 to 70. No, it's 50 to 60. Okay, so 50 to 60 is the weight loss. And what, what, the, what the belief is behind that is that puts the body in a position where it tends to use fat as its main source of energy. Yeah. Right? And so that means by virtue of that, you're reducing your amount of fat because it's burning, it's turned into energy. So um, what's... What, go sorry, ahead. I, I'm going to stop you. So my question to you is, so how long, like, is there a length or is that, is that, that, that that's, that's the art? Be, that's the art. And okay. I have a, I have an acronym for you to use that I'll give you um, to use that'll make the art very easy. It's just going to be a plug and play. Okay. Do you want it now? Yeah, give it to me. Okay. So the, the art form is going to be this principle we call the fit principle. F-I-T-T-E, F-I-T-T-E. Okay. All right, so this is gonna be how your art plays out. F stands for frequency, frequency. How often do you move? That's your art. That's for you to figure out based on what it is your goals are. How often you need to move. Intensity, that's the I. What is your target heart rate and zone that you need to be in when doing that movement? And that's what we were just talking about with those numbers. All right. Yeah. First T is the type of exercise or activity that you're going to do. Is it going to be aimed toward cardio? Is it going to be aimed toward strength or is it going to be aimed toward flexibility? Because you need, a, you need a mix, a balance of all three. The T is going to be time, right? The time is how many minutes per week you can dedicate to this whole plan. Like if that's 180 minutes a week, that means from Sunday morning to Saturday night, you need to do 180 minutes of targeted exercise toward cardio, strength, and flexibility. 180 minutes. Your frequency is, if I get to move more on Mondays than I do Tuesdays, then most of my time is on Tuesdays. I, get, I mean, I get most of my stuff during Monday, and then I'll fit Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But if I get I get hit with a huge influx or, or a ad hoc meeting or something on Thursday, then cool, Thursday is all about work, and I'll readjust my time to Friday. Simple, when I'm just playing with minutes versus stuck on a system of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah. Okay. E. All right. The, the and the E is self-explanatory. Enjoy what the hell you're doing. <laughs> ah. <laughs> if you don't enjoy what you're doing, none of this stuff matters anyway. Especially for the thing of weight loss or fat reduction or whatever we want to call it, because when you stress about losing the weight, you actually send your body into a a state where it makes it hard to lose weight. So you're being counterproductive. So mm -hmm. it, it's it's about enjoying what you do. Okay. Um, so hold on. I, I Now I want to come back to, because I don't want to make this a 30-minute thing. We're going to no. come back. <laughs> and we've already busted our 10 minutes. But I want to come back to, like, because you were talking about weight loss, cardio endurance, and conditioning, cardio conditioning, right? Uh-huh. So I want to know, like, when when would I do cardio endurance? When would I do cardio conditioning? Like, those are the three well, things that kind of like, I'm a little still stuck on. It would be based on what your lifestyle is and what you're doing. 
I still like to play intramural sports like flag football and basketball. So I need some cardio conditioning in there as well to make sure my lifestyle can meet those activities, right? But if you don't play any sports or activities like that, then maybe cardio endurance is the highest level of intensity you may need. And all you need to do is be able to walk from here to the store that's two miles away and bring your groceries back. Yeah, and I, I want to, so that cardio endurance would be that place I want to be if I want to be able to continue, even if my heart is pumping crazy. Pumping fast, yes. It, that's it. I, my, I'm at a cardio endurance is I am at the point where I can endure, my heart can endure the activity of my life. Yeah. See, that's, that's where I need to be. Cause like right now it's like, I take my groceries from my car in the garage. I walk to the elevator, come up the elevator, walk yeah. to my thing. And by the time I come here, I'm like, <gasps> I'm like pumping yes. like crazy. Then, then then that means you can put as a goal cardio endurance because you need your heart to handle the activities of your life. Love right? it. Yeah. Now, that ain't, that ain't nothing about weight. That is nothing about any. Yeah. It's just increasing the way you're going to work on your heart to sustain that activity. Now, the byproducts of a lot of other things are going to change. But isn't that much easier for you to grasp on to cardio enduring? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it makes me, you know what it reminds me of? It, this, this analogy or this explanation of science versus art, it really, I, it brings me back to my computer stuff. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's like I, I teach computers and when I teach, and I never realized this is what I used to do, but I, I would come in and I would tell clients and I'd say, look, I'm going to show you a way to do it because I understood how it worked and I understood what they needed to accomplish. And I would show them my art, <clears throat> but I, yeah. I would always add. And once you understand it, you can do it any which way you want. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Once so, you understand the signs, you can play however you want. Yeah. So that's, that's what I love about it. So guys, I hope this is as cool for you as it was for me. Cause I, it, it just makes a difference to get, okay. So if I want to, it has nothing to do with, I want to look good. I'm a bad girl because I'm this and yeah. I, I, you know, I'm 51 and I should, it has nothing to do with that. It just has to do with, okay. I understand these principles, which is the science be behind it all. And mm -hmm. now I can do whatever I want. Like, okay, so if I need to be in, in this cardio endurance area, well, now I need to just, first of all, know what the heck my heart rate is. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, so I'm gonna Wearable wear technology. Yeah, yes. exactly. I'm going to wear yeah. the technology and then I'm going to look at it and then I'm going to see, you know? Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. So those are the tools and hacks right there. That, that's those are the hacks that help you know yeah. what your heart rate is. Fantastic. Because you probably can get it in going up and down the steps. So yeah. All right. So then we're gonna talk next about strength and mm -hmm. flexibility. So future future segments, people, strength and flexibility. So thank you, thank you, Rob. This was awesome. Bye.